All right, we're here for an online comp round one of the E6 online tour uh, farmers that toured by south. So we're going to get started, uh, record the whole video, and see how we make out. <coughs> Gonna cut a bit to miss the bunkers. Short. Alright. Didn't hit it as well as I wanted, but fairway ish. Not bad for the first drive today. Leaves us with 159, a foot downhill. Probably just outside of my 9 iron, but I'm gonna hit a 9 iron here just because the pin's at the front. And if I flush it, we'll. Um, get right in that front edge. If you hear a little bit of uh, kid noise outside, we got the kiddie pool right outside the door, so I apologize for some of the noise. And, um, you know, I'm sure we'll hear some crying and we'll hear some biting, but mom's out there, so show referee today. Well, if I got the right club, it's gonna be okay. All right, great shot. Great start. <clears throat> Go back to the stock standard fade here and Aim for the center of that left side fairway bunker and let it leak back into the front, into the center. Should be okay. <laughs> a a tricky distance for me is 90. 90 to 95 yards, more so in E6 Connect than it is on uh, real life golf. Um, I like 95 yards on the real course with my lob wedge, so we're going to opt to hit lob wedge here, but it is going to be for E6, too much club. Let's see if we can pick a good swing. Well, I pulled it. It's going to go a little further too. Could have lived without the pull there, but that's what it is. Seven inches downhill. We're probably playing about an eight foot putt here. So um, it's not going to take much to get this ball to the hole. Downhill slippery one. Right. It's a hot sunny day here today in the Sunshine State and I got the air conditioner pumping and I'm still huh, pretty warm actually. So 154, 33 feet downhill. I'm gonna hit a smooth cut nine iron. Take a little distance off of it with a fade. Hopefully get it close to the pin. <clears throat> well, again, if it's the right club, it should be okay. Come down the hill. Yeah. Not much of a fade, maybe a one yard, pretty straight shot there, but um, carried it a little further than I wanted it to go. So we had about a 14 footer left downhill, so let's see if we can get this one in. It took a while to get there, I was wondering if I, if I hit it hard enough. All right, really good start. Keep this uh, momentum running. Let's 
So I'm not going to aim too far to the left on this one because there's a lot of trouble left. Definitely don't want to hit a pole on this hole. Happy to be in the right side, fairway rough. Somewhere in there would be more of the preference. <coughs> Yeah, see, I didn't commit to the shot there and hit a big swoopy slice. I'm okay with that though, just trying to stay out of that left hand garbage. Left with a little bit of a longer shot than I would have hoped for, too. Two oh six. Try to land it about two oh six. And uh, get it to trickle up there. Uh, pushed it. Yuck. There's really no commitment on those last two shots. That's part of the challenge. shot that I was looking for because I touched it in on the blade so I didn't really get the pop off the club. But the putting is strong and it's saving us right now so I'll take that. Kind of an ugly par but we'll take it. <clears throat> Back to that left side bunker. Should be good. <laughs> Looks like it left us with about 110, 112s. I got 112 ish. Three feet downhill. I hit my sand wedge. I run a 54 degree sand wedge, so it's the one we're going to go with. <clears throat> I did not hit that and I pushed it right. Shoot. That was not the side to miss on either. made things hard. Well, I hit the hole, and that's a good thing because it slowed it down and gave us the gimme. Had kind of a little bit of heat on it. I was actually hoping it was going to go in the hole. But, um, needed to hit much higher of a flop shot get that ball to land softer <clears throat> all right par five I'm gonna aim right at that center left hand bunker and see if we can give this one a little more a little more speed than usual get ourselves a reasonably decent club in a shortcut I guess. I expected uh, more carry but too much spin, slice spin. 234-ish left. I'm going to hit my four iron here. Pin is on that left corner, so being on this side of the flag, or on this side of the fairway, I should say, definitely the preferred angle. Let's see if 
if we can get a good straight strike now. Ah, that's two long irons pushed way out to the right. No, I'm not happy with those. That's, those are bad misses. That's a big push. <clears throat> 7 yards. Oh, that was bad. Give me one, too. Kind of giving this one away here. A 50 footer for Birdie. on that easy par 5. That's <clears throat> what happens when you flare your approach shot way out. Left myself with an awkward 47 yards. <clears throat> Alright, again, left side bunkers. A lot of, uh, if I remember right, a lot of the first nine holes you get a um, big dog leg rights and then after they kind of straighten out and get a couple dog leg lefts later on. Should be good. Ooh, I thought it was going to fade a little more than that. One sixty four, thirteen down. Kind of looking for one fifty nine, so we'll go back to the nine iron. I'm going to need all of this 9-iron to get there, but again, the pin's in the front. So we just need to get it you know, over the fringe and we might get one hop. That would be ideal. Uh, I pushed that one too. See, i got a challenge with that going on right now. shots there. Yeah, it's turning into a par game now. I'm going to have to take a little look at my alignments on those last couple of shots. We got 166. So this one, eight iron is the weapon of choice here. And again, we're setting up for a bit of a fade. Try to get this one kind of a, just a little slight cut shot at that pin. Club, get down. I hit it solid anyway, so we had the nice fade to the back pin location. That's not an easy pin to get to. So, all in all, I'll say pretty good shot that one. 13 feet. Bird there. Great birdie. Yeah, now we're starting. 
starting to get at that just about at the back nine where things are going to straighten out a little bit and in some cases be a slight dog leg left couple shots so that's where I get challenged as the dog leg lefts not a big fan of a draw by the driver but I can hit him wow did that ever fly wild that's a slice So I've been finding on the new um, version of E6151, the uh, driver hasn't been going as far and losing some distance on a few of the mid irons, so could be just me too. I'm a sucker for golf and I play a lot of it, so sometimes... Um, we all just need to take a little bit of a break, and I can't seem to do that. I just love to play this game, and having a nice indoor facility like this, it's really hard to uh, stay away from golf for very long, that's for sure. So this little goofy-looking tree here, I'm going to play to the left of the tree branches and try to swing one in. It's, it's kind of got a big distance, but I'm going to hit a 3-iron here. Hit my 3-iron, try to fade one and get it anywhere on the green or at least close to it, that would be the preference. <clears throat> Is it overcooked? <sighs> A little too much fade, kind of cooked that one hard, but a little less um, cut spin. I think we had the distance to get there. Three iron just came up short. Who knows, might have got a lucky bounce if I would have uh, landed it in a rough, so. Pretty standard shot from here. Well, it gave it a scare, I guess. <clears throat> straight fairway shot pretty much no trouble on the on the left side I don't see any drama over there so I'm gonna aim left fairway left rough should say see if we can get something turning back into the center didn't sound great Quad says 286 carries, see what we got out of it. Yeah, 260-ish. Yeah, 260 carry, quad had 286. 2014 backspin. I don't know, somebody's out to lunch. I had about 104 in my gap wedge here with a normal full swing, so hopefully we'll just take it right over the flag. Spin back a bit. Come back a bit. Alright, that turned out really good. <clears throat> My gap wedge on connect is about a 104 carry. Typically, I think that one, I never looked, but 106, maybe 107. I did tug it a little left, but not too bad. So you're 24 feet downhill. 24 down. 194 to the pin. That takes us to 187. I want to land it short, so I want to take it to about 183, 180, 183, something like that. So we're going to go with a 7 iron here. 
And if I haven't mentioned it before, uh, I had a couple comments, people asking me what irons am I using. I'm using uh, this year's new TaylorMade P7MCs. So uh, prior to John Rom switching to Callaway, these would have been the irons he was using. So just to give you an idea, when I'm talking the carry distances on E6 Connect, my irons typically fly, fly further on E6 Connect than they do in the real world. Um, and I think that is purely just software. And uh, I've had some comments of people saying, well, they're strong lofted clubs. Absolutely, these are not strong lofted clubs. These are uh, what I would call a traditional lofted club. And um, I, off the top of my head, I don't know what the 7 iron is, but uh, pitching wedge is 47 degrees, so we can work our way back from there if you're really curious. So anyway, 7 iron, see if we can get a good swing on this. <coughs> Uh, I've been pushing everything to the right. Looks like we're going to get that bunker nicely. So from time to time, my mid short irons, I'll give them a, a lot of pull. My miss would be uh, left, so I try to adjust. Leave my club face open just a little bit, thinking, well, I'll hit just kind of one of those push draws, and then I just hang it out to the right. and. That's what we've seen in the last few uh, approach shots that I've hit. <clears throat> 47 footer left. It's done. All right. Pretty easy clean up two footer there. Gimme. Wedges, I'm using the, this year's Vokies, or I should say the 2020 Vokies, the SM8s. I use a gap wedge, 50 degree gap wedge, 54 sand wedge, and a 58 lob. I do have the um, uh, 46 degree bulky wedge as well that I used with my last set of irons and I used that as my pitching wedge but uh, I kept the TaylorMade P7MC pitching wedge in my set this year when I changed irons. That's a 47 degree so I used the 46 uh, bulky wedge in my P760 TaylorMade irons that I had for the last uh, two years. <coughs> that was a Healy strike. I'm not going to get a lot of distance on that one but We'll get away with the fairway. <clears throat> yeah, that was 4,000 spin, 230 carry, and a wild heel strike, so we didn't get uh, much of that. I need a 190, 190 shot here. Hit a six iron. I'm trying not to think about the last few uh, pushes that I hit with my irons, because then I'm going to pull hook this, right? So I'm trying to just think about what I got going on and see if we can fix on the fly. No. I'm making this really hard, that's for sure. Speed. Well, that was the first mistake. Well, I had a lot of mistakes, but that was the first one that actually added up. Now I'm going to bogey on that hole. That's unfortunate. 
usually we can play these rounds, I guess, one bogey. Most of the time we can get away with no bogeys. But uh, that was that was a forced error. Six iron, I shouldn't have missed a mile, right? That's unfortunate. Well, this is the game of golf. Nothing easy about it. long way to carry a, a three iron. I hit it well. That was the shot shape. That was the direction. I'm going to just start playing the fade here for a little while. Quit worrying about the rest. Go in. Ah, that would have been great if that would have went in. That would have been a, a good gimme to get back. <coughs> Get that bogey back with an eagle would have been ideal. So right side miss right here isn't bad. I'm not going to be too concerned if I miss to the right. It'd be good, good angle to the flag. So just let it fly. I'm hitting him really high on the club face. Yeah, just looking at the screen on the quad and I was like a half a ball almost above the paint. 158, three feet down. You know, the Nestle nine iron, the nine iron in there. Go ball. and I'm just hitting them out and that's kind of my the way I do a bump and run or a little pitch shot is I just leave the club face a degree open and just get to the right side of the flag yeah but if anybody was wondering I am going straight at the hole with a very little roll and a little bit of run and uh, hopefully it plops in the hole but just miss them to the right Oh no, go, get some distance, go. <laughs> I hit that tree branch, so I knocked a little bit of the ball speed off. <clears throat> I didn't think I was gonna hit that. Chair, in between pitching wedge and gap wedge. So I'm going to hit a pitching wedge. <clears throat> Might end up a little far, but we'll see how it goes here. Uh, I duffed it. Fatty. Fatty, fatty. up to about 
I don't know, I haven't been counting, but eight decent mistakes that were completely avoidable. Some mistakes here so far on the approach shots, six or eight of them for sure. So we had 200. We're gonna hit a six iron. This auto caddy going on in E6 Connect, like, I don't know what caddy this guy's playing, but five wood. Like they've got some pretty wild guesses. You think they'd get it in a ballpark or it'd have some AI intelligence based on your common carry distances. I guess I'd have to keep changing the club before it would ever learn if that was a feature, but it's not. So um, six iron, a little cut six iron. Shouldn't be hard. I've been cutting the ball all day today while slicing. So this one's gonna be a forced fade would be a little hair. And it stays straight and short. <sighs> yeah, I just hit that fat. It's a couple shots. And then I'm going to give him a chance. I'm just turning this into a, a back nine into a par, par, par. That one a bit of a run with the uphill slope behind it. It is if you guys aren't familiar with the courses or you don't know what the, the lay of the green is, definitely get in the map and have a look and get a close up with your magnifying glass and, and be aggressive on those types of shots there so that you definitely don't leave them short and they're going to slow down really quick on the uphill. So that's just my advice. <coughs> So I got more than usual out to in swing with an open club face and as we all know that's a recipe for a slice so that's what I got going on with a few of my shots here today. I'm going to hit an 8 iron here, change this up to an 8 iron and think about the distance, do a little bit of math and make sure I know how hard I want to hit this. Pretty much a, a full, smooth, well, smooth eight iron. Nothing too crazy. That's going to go further than I wanted it to. Well, we hit one straight. That's a good start. <laughs> Left this with a, call it 23 feet downhill. Number 17. It's going to be left. If it gets to the hole, even. Yeah. Left it short. <coughs> Probably only hit it 20 feet. I practice a lot of 20 foot putts. If you guys are familiar with E6 Connect, you can get into the chipping and the putting green practice facilities on Connect. And um, on the chipping and putting green, right off the bat, they have a nice 20, 20 foot straight flat putt. 
So I do a lot of practice on that. That's actually how I calibrate to that line. Um, when I first start up around and get the quad on the ground here, I'll calibrate to that uh, 20 foot putt line. I'll hit a couple putts, make sure they're rolling nice and straight and the calibration is all good. And then I'll get into the match as we're watching right now. So that's what I do anyway. <coughs> Well, that one didn't fade, so we're going to go right to the bunker. It came up short, that's fair. I think this is one of the few holes where we got a pond to navigate. Par 5. 225 to carry. It's a scary shot at the last hole. I don't know, it's kind of a be smart layup. Or at least make perfect contact here with my four iron and have a chance at a birdie. And if we were doing a live chat, I'm sure most of you guys would say, uh, there is no layups, just go for it. Two twenty-five to land. At least two eighteen to carry. Center of the green. Chicken shit, that's what I'll call that. Swung hard to the left to make sure I didn't pull hook it and um, yeah, anyway, figured that out right. Mess the one up close and get a bird and get the hell out of here and have a solid round. as close to the nestle up as I was hoping for, but a gimme all the same. So that's round one E6 online tour of the farmers. Uh, looks like seven under after the first round. So um, we're gonna play back to backs. So we'll catch up with uh, round two and I'll see if I post both of them, but uh, that's where we are. Thanks for watching.